What's up guys, Lucas here, and in this video, I'm going to break down the pros and cons of using the famous nootropic, Lion's Mane. So if you're brand new to my channel, my name is Lucas. I am the founder of Ergogenic Health, and my goal is to provide cutting edge health information that you'll struggle to find on Google. So anyway, let's get back to Lion's Mane, otherwise known as Yama Bushitake. So first of all, many people know about Lion's Mane in the context of uh, nootropics and supporting brain function. And so what I'm gonna do is actually explain some of the positives and the negatives of Lion's Mane as a nootropic supplement. So the very first, benefit of lion's mane is that it definitely does have evidence to improve memory and cognition in adults. Now, it does this through raising many growth factors in the brain, such as nerve growth factor and BDNF. But then this is what's really interesting is that we don't truly know whether there's other effects from the medicinal mushroom itself. So again, a lot of the emphasis is focused on um, its ability to increase nerve growth factor. Uh, however, it may be able to do this through some other unknown mechanisms. The next point is that lion's mane is neuroprotective. That has been very well documented um, and it does this through a variety of mechanisms. Thirdly, lion's mane has been shown to possess anti-inflammatory properties. Uh, and this is possibly due to the beta glucans that are found within lion's mane. And similarly, we have immune health. Now, as with most medicinal mushrooms, lion's mane also ticks that box to support immune health. Um, and it does this again, possibly through the polysaccharides and the beta glucans as well. So moving on to the negatives. So the very first one is that lion's mane may actually lower libido and sex drive. Now, I've spoken about this on my podcast um, and through many other interviews, but basically the mechanism behind this is through a reduction in uh, DHT. So DHT is the strongest androgen in the body and lion's mane possesses 5-alpha reductase inhibitory properties, which means that it may have some of the same side effects as many of the potent uh, hair loss medications on the market. The next point or next side effect is uh, dysphoria. Now, dysphoria basically is the opposite to euphoria. Um, and the reason why it may have this effect is because it contains a kappa opioid agonist and Kappa opioid agonism is basically a, it's one of the three uh, opioid systems in the brain. We have kappa, delta, and mu of opioid receptors. Lion's mane contains one of the, uh, one of the content compounds found within lion's mane possesses kappa opioid agonism. So that may be acutely dysphoric for some people and may actually reduce one's mood, make them feel a bit more flat and so on and so forth. The next point is that lion's mane, by virtue of increasing nerve growth factor, compounds that increase nerve growth factor may actually um, increase mast cell uh, release and, and histamine release from mast cells. So uh, this is something to watch for for some people who are sensitive to uh, histamine. Uh, so that's one thing to keep a lookout for. And then finally, I had a very bizarre uh, side effect, and that is attachment. Now, I'm saying attachment because I'm looking at it in the context of trauma and negative events. So if you think about lion's mane, it's upregulating nerve growth factors. Um, so that's strengthening long-term potentiation, which is the formation of memories. Um, but keep in mind that when we have elevated nerve growth factor, that may actually make it difficult for someone to let go of certain memories. So it actually can 
affect one's ability to let go of certain memories, um, things that may have been traumatic or difficult to deal with. Lion's mane may actually make it difficult to move on <laughs> and to let go. So, guys, if you've really enjoyed this video, if you've learned something new about Lion's Mane, check out the link in my video description. I have a very comprehensive nootropics masterclass, which I break down some of the most advanced nootropics and some of the most um, advanced ways to hack your, your brain and take control of your neurochemistry because that is what I'm all about, is once we understand the science, how can we apply this to take control of our um, neurochemistry and hack our uh, performance? So check the links in the video description. Uh, please be sure to hit that subscribe button, share the video around, hit that like button, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.